What if the Titanoboa snake didn't go extinct? One of the Paleocene's fiercest predators might have been spotted crawling over the waterways of South America 60 million years ago. The Titanoboa. Keep watching to know what would happen if the Titanoboa snake was still alive. Titanoboa sierra Genesis discovered in Colombia is its scientific name. It would be about three times the size of a huge anaconda, measuring 15 meters or 49 feet and weighing just over 1,000 kilograms. Its one meter or three feet diameter would be as high as your waist if you were of average height. Fortunately, or perhaps sadly, you're more likely to come across a titanoboa while fishing or swimming. It's a scientific claim. Moving about in water is easier for organisms such as enormous whales and the snake than it is on land. Although dwelling in trees was never an option for this huge snake. It has been known to venture inland on occasion. Scientists believe it is a member of the snake family known as boids. They're non-venomous snakes, so they should be fine. On the other hand, Titanoboa may utilize their teeth to seize their prey, and the teeth are reported to bend, like curved hooks digging into you. The harder the victim struggles, the more hooked it becomes. After that, they squeeze their victim. Ischemia occurs after a few minutes. Blood flow to the heart or brain is reduced, resulting in a lack of oxygen and finally death. According to fossils, the lower jaw of a titanoboa extends over the rear of the skull, providing a broader range of movement while opening its mouth. It has the ability to consume you whole. Titanoboa most likely ate huge turtles and primitive crocodiles up to 6 meters or 20 feet long. A snake of this size would most likely require 40 kilograms of food every day. That's twice the size of an anaconda. These snakes are predators that can move quickly in water. Humans may make an excellent snack. Australia appears to coexist with poisonous snakes, but the sheer size of a titanoboa dwarfs anything we're used to. Titanoboa loves hot, humid, jungle-like environments like the Amazon. To survive, snakes depend on heat from outside their bodies. Titanoboas existed in an environment that was 5 degrees Celsius warmer than it was today, around 58 million years ago. Perhaps we'll discover these enormous snakes in Asia. What about somewhere like Florida? For much of the year, it is hot and humid. It would probably hide in hot, marshy locations or lakes due to its huge bulk, nearly the size of a compact vehicle. This enables it to hunt more effectively. Alligators are plentiful in golf course lakes in Florida, and the Titanoboa might easily be drawn to this food source. And if alligators aren't on the menu that day, what's the next best thing? Golfers. I'm sure you're wondering if having titanoboa around has any advantages. Pest management to be sure. With a titanoboa on the prowl, raccoons, deer, or anything else ripping through your rubbish would be a thing of the past. Even though the titanoboa is extinct, we advise you to avoid huge snakes. A gigantic python swallowed an Indonesian lady in 2018. What would it be like to be gobbled alive by one of these monsters? as creatures. The paleontologists who found Titanoboa expressed their astonishment. However, one discovery appeared highly unexpected. Though they might unearth additional vertebrae, it would need a skull to show them what the massive serpent was capable of, and fossilized snakeheads are notoriously difficult to come across. The issue is that snake jaws are forceful by their muscles, not their bones. Their skulls are flimsy and frequently disintegrate before sand can pile up over them. As a result, they rarely appear in the fossil record. In order to show Titanoboa its potential size, the Smithsonian set up an installation in New York's Grand Central Station in 2012. The mock-up depicted a massive snake eating what appeared to be a crocodile, with its tail protruding from the snake's mouth. People were obviously drawn in by the publicity blitz. It was all part of the build-up to a Smithsonian Channel broadcast on the astonishingly unusual find, and it demonstrated just how huge prehistoric species might grow in comparison to modern animals. Over the following years, however, the crew on Unearthed the bones of 28 huge serpents and not one but three skull parts, allowing them to put together a full scale reproduction of a snake so massive and terrifying that it left no doubt about its position in the world's new rainforests. Even among the ancient rainforest huge species, Titanoboa reigned supreme. It was the apex predator of its day, a monster indisputably the monarch of its habitat, as the Tyrannosaurus rex was on its own. Some have speculated on what would have happened if Titanoboa had not been extinct. What if Titanoboa lived on? How would you explain this situation? Please comment below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.